All right, we got a message to play. Um, I wanted. I just wanted to bring up like villains that were fun to watch. Uh, you know, during the, that time in the eighties, uh, when you just had fun villains. So, with that being said, um, Biff Tannen from Back to the Thank Future, you. <laughs> fun villain to watch. Also, okay, uh, Johnny Lawrence and uh, Sensei Kreese from The Karate Kid. You just, okay. you just got, you just got her really excited. Yes. You got her uh, okay, really well, obviously, excited. I don't know why I said obviously, but hi, Back to the Future is my favorite movie, and I love F. Paul Wilson as Biff Tannen and Buford, a.k.a. Mad Dog Tannen and Griff Tannen, depending on which movie we're watching. Old Biff, young Biff, I like them all. Really old Biff, he's fantastic. However, if you watch Back to the Future, and if you pay close attention, you will notice Biff is, in fact, not the villain of the story. Although he was based on uh, a certain, you know, 45th quote, president so obviously he was evil i'm not disputing his evilness i'm just saying he's not the villain of the story one doc emmett brown is the villain of back to the future yes that's right i said it and it's How true is that i'm happy to explain let's go back way back when so doc uh was professor at the university uh or not the University of California, somewhere along those lines. I can't recall off the top of my head. Anyway, he gets recruited to work the Manhattan Project during World War II, where he helps create Fat Man and Little Boy, the two atomic bombs that were dropped over Hiroshima and Nagasaki, respectively. August 1941. Okay, so cut to he then becomes a professor at a college near Hill Valley University. His mother, I uh, can't remember her name, El- Mrs. Ellsworth, I believe, She gets engaged to a man. She's very wealthy. Of course, we know they live at 1640 Riverside Drive, which is a mansion. They come from wealth. So he, being very concerned for his mother, takes a large sum of money from her and buries it, which (sighs) Marty's uncle, Uncle Jailbird Joey, is accused of stealing, and that's why he's in prison. Blom. Yes, that's right. He pinned it on him. He took the money and he used it to start um, funding his experiments. Then, of course, his mother died. He gets the house. He burns the house down, possibly because of an experiment. Possibly not. I'm not here to make that, you know, those accusations at anyone. I'm just stating facts. House burned down. That's why he lives in the garage, which is now on Kennedy Drive. Okay, so we know he's doing all these things. Then he goes to work for some Libyan terrorists where he changed out the uh, plutonium for used pinball machine parts to build them a, quote, bomb, end air quotes. Right. So now he's got all this money he's used to fund his experiments, and he's got these very, very dangerous radioactive, you know, uh, elements so that he can get a DeLorean and make it a time machine with a flux capacitor, which he came up with September 5th, uh, 1955. And then we start going to the future. And what happens when we start time traveling? Oh, yeah. We start fucking things up. That's right. Doc Brown is the villain. And I would say maybe he learns his lesson in 1885 after he gets stuck there in the third film. But no, because then at the end, even after he's told Marty that we shouldn't meddle in time, destroy the DeLorean and Marty does this when the train hits it he reconverts locomotive 131 into another fucking time machine he didn't learn his lesson he goes back to 1985 with Claire and their sons Jules and Vern and those kids aren't little they're not babies they're like nine and ten he's been time traveling he's been messing with time still and did you notice how many different forms of money he had when he came back to get Marty and take him to 2015 to help him with his children and to pin their crimes on poor Griff Tannen who's had a lot of family troubles because of them man 
he had a lot. He's been time traveling to at least, uh, I forgot, eight other time periods. It's ridiculous. Oh, and did I mention another way that he funded his time travel? He went back to 1938 and got himself some first issues of Superman comics and ensured their others were missing and destroyed so that they would be very valuable when he came back. That's right. He fucked up Superman for us. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I really like Back to the Future. <laughs> wow.